Joe plays his music to himself, yeah. doesn't he? And it's kind of it's one of his habits and behaviours. Do you like the soundtrack? What's your thoughts on the music? Oh, it's cracking. It's, it's great. Yeah, I mean, it's it's Pete Bowker's back catalogue. That's the. Is that what it <laughs> is? I mean, it's all the music he loves. <laughs> I keep trying to slip in a few. Uh, well, what about what about this? What about the Stone Roses? And like. No, no, we're going to go back, we're going to go 70s. <laughs> so it's a bit before my time. But no, the music's great. And it is, it is that thing, you know, it, it, initially it was the thing that bonded Joe and Paul, you know, mm. it, Paul instilling his musical taste on his son and his son mm. picking it up and running with it. And, and that's the thing that they always have. And then, you know, for Joe, it becomes his, his, his way of shutting out the world and, mm -hmm. and, and putting a, a little wall around himself and, you know, knowing the stats behind it, who sang it, when, you know, what the title yeah. is. And, and, and it's his way of, of, of dealing with everything. And, and even though they had that in common, it's slightly coming out of Paul's reach. You can't communicate with him anymore. They can't share that musical taste because I think that's what's beautiful about this. It's very honest. Sometimes it's hard to watch, you know, where he says, mm. I feel like I'm losing my boy. You know, I, I, I can't, I, I'm not dealing very well with, with his autism. I love Joe, but... I can't deal with it, you know, mm. and it's um, it's heartbreaking at times, and 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 I think what the music does is it, it it's a nice tool as well to to highlight certain emotions throughout the program itself. I think. 